Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a little bit more of a discussion about the Birdie with a Crystal Plumage 4K from Arrow and also some things I've found out with some Arrow, other Arrow 4K Blu-ray restorations which are now going to receive the 4K treatment and just my thoughts of them in general. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the 4K of the Bird with a Crystal Plumage. If you don't own the previously released the 4K restoration on the Blu-ray, this is going to be a massive upgrade for you. Uh, I do think this is the best it's ever looked. The picture, the picture quality here looks exceptional. Um, it looks, the colours, obviously the HDR matters a lot and it makes this movie look like it's never looked before. We're going to talk mainly today about previously released 4K restoration box sets. Now, this, this one here, I've got to say, as a box set, it, it's got everything it would want. If you're going and haven't bought a box set from Arrow before and you want to get the best of the best, this one is absolutely brilliant. But if you're upgrading from the previously released 4K restoration box set, which I have here, which looks absolutely amazing, and the box set itself is, is the same as that, it's high quality, it just looks exceptional, um, the upgrade from it is not going to be that much. Uh, and I'll tell you why, because a lot of the things in here, you have got a poster in here, which is slightly different. You do have R cards in here, which are exactly the same part from the back of the R cards. You do have a booklet in here, which is different. But in general, what you're getting, the extras are exactly the same, which was very disappointing actually when I looked into it. I thought you were gonna get two extras, which were new, which weren't on the previous Blu-ray. All the stuff on there is exactly the same as on the 4K. So I find that a little bit lazy, if I'm honest. And I'm not taking anything away from Arrow. The 4K of this does look amazing. But the upgrade, when I put this on my 4K player to this, is quite close. It's a lot closer than I thought it would be. So I can understand a lot of people not wanting to make the jump into the 4K. So that leaves the question, what next for the other ones that are going to be upgraded to 4K? And I'm pretty sure most of these I've got here will see the 4K treatment because they do have 4K restorations. I'm going to go through some box sets I've got here and I'll tell you the ones that I think would be not that much of a great upgrade, ones that I'm definitely going to go for and ones that I'm not going to touch at all and I'll tell you the reasons why I'm going to do that. So even though it's not actually out yet, I can probably say the same thing that I've said for Bird with a Crystal Plumage for this next release, which is Cat and Nine Tails. Now, what I did was and I do think that I haven't looked at any of these box sets on my 4K player. I haven't done that at all with uh, these movies, but I did do these with, with this one and also Deep Red. I'm guessing, though I don't know, that the extras are probably going to be the same. I must admit the picture quality on here is really nice. It's better than Chris Bird with a Crystal Plumage Blu-ray. So I'm going to say that the 4K on this one will look exceptional. So what I'm going to say is if you've got the box set for this, which I have, I don't think there's going to be that much different apart from the case, maybe the booklets, probably the R cards are the same, and the poster might be slightly different. So therefore I'm faced with a bit of a quandary. Do I actually upgrade this? Well, I've got to say the Bird of the Crystal Plumage, Cat and Nine Tails and Deep Red are one of my three favourite Argento movies, so I'm definitely going to do the upgrade on there. But I'm left with the sort of um, box set on the Blu-ray, which is basically quite as much the same as the 4k the same being said for cat and nine tails so that's that's where the quandary sets in now i'm going to probably end up owning because i don't know what to do with these i don't know whether to sell them although i do like them if i do sell them i can't get them back cheap or maybe i can get them back cheap now that the 4k has come out but bear in mind the 4k editions on the special editions only have the 4k in the box they don't have the blu-rays or the dvds like this set does and the bird of the crystal plumage does next up is Deep Red. Now, this is my favourite Argento movie, so it was a no-brainer to go and get the 4K version of this. Now, I put this on on my 4K player, and I'll tell you what, the picture quality on here is stunning. The sound is absolutely amazing as well. I mean, I love the soundtrack on here. On this version, and on the other version, the 4K version, you get the two cuts of the movie. On the standard edition release of Deep Red, you only get the longer cut. Uh, which I find to be not as good. I think there's a lot of things in there that don't need to be in there and the pace is a bit ruined by it. The shorter version is much better. So this one here, it's it's got the both cuts of the movie on. It's also got the soundtrack on, which is exceptional soundtracks, one of my favourite sound, movie soundtracks of all time. So when I ordered my version of this movie, I did get the limited edition box. So I thought, well, I'll get something a bit different, a bit special. This 
leads me to think, is this box going to be completely redundant? And I, and I know that this one's been going for absolute crazy money. Um, I don't know, that's another one. Do I sell this or not? I do look like this box set, although it's not it's not as hard as the other ones actually. It's not as hard as them ones. I know that the deep red box, the new one, will come with that hard box. So for me, this is a better upgrade for packaging I don't know how, what the extras are going to be, if they're going to be different with our cards and such like. I think the R cards are the same, actually. Uh, the picture quality, I know these would be better on the 4K, but don't forget that you might not be getting as many discs in the 4K, so this might be one that I might keep as well because of the fact of the extra discs it's got in here. If it's only got one 4K, it might have two 4Ks, actually, in the new box. So that's another one that's close in the overall package I think I'm not getting that much of an upgrade but I am happy to upgrade those three because they're one of three of my favorite Argento movies of all time so these three are essential upgrades to me although you will be left with a box set that is incredibly close to the other ones the 4Ks I do like them that much I think it comes down if you love a movie then you're going to go for it now the next thing is it's a movie that I do love and I'm not going to upgrade now this is the 4K remastered the thing from Arrow. Now I know that Arrow aren't doing a 4K uh, version of this movie, but this set is stunning. Now, I was tempted to order the pre, uh, pre-order, pre the really good version of the thing that's coming out now, but I thought, you know what it is? I've got all the stuff in here. There's nothing else that I really want in the way of packaging and all that. I'm just gonna get the standard version of the 4K because the 4K is really the disc that I'm after. The rest of this stuff, all extras will probably be on here. There might be a few extra extras on the thing, but for me, do I really need more packaging of the thing? I bought this movie countless times. This was going to be my ultimate edition. And like I say, it's one of the best editions that I own. There's no way I'm gonna get rid of it because the uh, my 4K is going to be just a regular 4K. So that's gonna mean that uh, in a way, I could have held off and I could have got the Bird of the Crystal Plumage, Cat of Nine Tails and also Deep Red in the standard releases but I think Deep Red is the one that would like suffer the most for getting a standard release on a 4K. Probably, it won't be, probably come with a slipcase as well which is one of the things that I really do think that Arrow dropped the ball with. When they do like re-release the standard versions of a 4K they never put a slipcase on or rarely they do which I think is a bit of a problem for a collector anyway. So yeah the thing Although it's an amazing package, I will and the, uh, the the ones that are releasing are amazing. I will not be upgrading because I think that this is going to be too much of a double unnecessary double dip. Now, there's another movie here that comes in a spectacular edition, and it is Phenomena. Now, this movie is a brilliant movie, and it's also a 4K restoration. Now, this this package reminds me a little bit like the Donny Darko set, which came in. All, I mean, you've got this amazing uh, edition here and it's uh, it looks incredible it's got incredible artwork they've done a great version on the, the two movies on here now i would imagine although it's not been talked about yet i would imagine they would do the same with phenomena now will they release it in the same way in the box set i don't think they will or they might do they might split it up in the two boxes like they've done with this one or two um discs uh, i do think that for me that, and I don't know if these are available separately. I don't know if the Creepers version is available out in the wild. I don't think it is. I think you only get this when you get the, the regular version of it. And you don't get the booklet, obviously. So for me, this set is good enough. I would imagine, although I haven't checked this one out, and I would imagine on my 4K player, the 4K restoration on here would look would suffice me more than enough to think that I don't need to upgrade this one. The packaging and everything is phenomenal, pun intended and so that's the one that i wouldn't sit in the fence with i do like the i do like the movie but not as much as them um, the mother three dario gentle ones that i've talked about next up is city of the living dead now i didn't really i thought this was a 2k scan but it's actually a 4k scan it looks really nice although i haven't looked checked at it on my 4k play i'm going to check some of these out later on actually to see what they look like now this is one that i i love this movie and i've got a lot of lucio Fulci movies on 4k and I would imagine that this 4K would look stunning on 4K. Now, this is one that I will definitely, even if the packaging is exactly the same, I will definitely go for the 4K on, on the Sick of the Living Dead, if they even own the rights to it now, because I would like to think that um, I would own all of Lucio Fulci's great films, minus the beyond, in a 4K. 
I think the Beyond will come out. I don't think Arrow will release it because I think Arrow are long, they've long finished with the Beyond, unfortunately. But I would like to think that the Beyond would come out. But The City of the Living Dead for me is a movie that I think desperately needs a 4K just to bring it up in line with the other ones. I would love Blue Underground to release it. Will they? I don't know if they will. Uh, it is getting some sort of attention in the States, but not by that company, strangely enough. So, yes, this would be one that would definitely upgrade. Now, speaking of ones that Arrow have done a good job on, is Demons. And I'll tell you why. Because Demons is a 4K, and Demons 2 is a 4K. Now, what they did was, instead of having a 4K remaster on the Blu-ray, they had this Blu-ray here, which was decent, but it wasn't that great. It wasn't as if you thought to yourself, oh, this is the, the pinnacle of it. Even when I got it, I thought, yeah, it could be better. So what they've done is they've went back to the original negatives and they've done a stellar version. This is one of the best 4Ks I've seen. Now, this is what Arrow should be doing with the box sets. They shouldn't be tackling ones that they've done recently and released as a 4K restoration on Blu-ray because, for me, you've kind of got nearly the best version. Why don't they go to the, the sort of older stuff and take them ones and remaster them so for me this is the one this is the type of movie that i want to see arrow going for i don't want to see them sort of releasing all the donnie darkos and the 4ks and all the ones that they've got in the 4k restorations these are ones that i think they will do i think they'll do carry which is a 4k restoration this set is stunning it's one of my favorite sets the artwork on here is exceptional but i know it looks brilliant and it does look brilliant do i want to get this this is when i'm going to have to weigh up the pros and cons of even though I really like this movie and I really do want it on 4K, am I willing to just take that slight uptick? Because really, when you put these on, you kind of nearly know, apart from HDR, exactly what you're going to get in the 4K. And you're going to end up with two good versions, but a massive double dip and an expensive double dip. Another one is Pieces. Now, I was really surprised to think that this had a 4K restoration. That Honestly, I would never thought it was a 4K restoration. It doesn't look brilliant. I don't think pieces would ever look brilliant so for that reason i'm going to stick with this box set for pieces i do think that this is the best version you're going to get well best version i'm going to get for it and that's going to suffice me the movie's all right i do have a good time with it but i don't think that this one is going to see my personal upgrade to 4k if it does i'm only picking ones out that have previously been released recently ish in the last few years with um, 4k restorations Another one is, quite surprisingly as well, is The Hills of Eyes. Now this movie doesn't look great with a 4K restoration. It's one of them ones that's quite grainy and it's it's obviously being shot very cheaply. And to me, I'm happy with this one. I wouldn't upgrade this one. I don't think it's going to ever look spectacular. So I do think Deep Red will look really spectacular on 4K because it looks brilliant on Remaster Blu-ray. So for me, that means that uh, I'm going to stick with this one on ones that i think they're all right don't get us wrong i like this set but i don't think that this one is going to really be a massive uptake because it's only going to heighten the maybe the grain in it the same being said for the hills of eyes part two which only has a 2k restoration so maybe if they ever did a 4k restoration which i highly doubt this one would look better i don't really care for the movie that much i, I like the box set I had to get it because it was cheap and also just to get it with the other set uh, for the shells. But I'm going to say that um, this is one that they probably could do. I don't think they'll ever do a 4K restoration on it. But if they did, it might be a good up upgrade if you're a big fan of The Hills of Eyes 2. Not that I hear many people saying that they are. So here are a couple of special editions that might be good upgrades if they ever go to 4K. The first being The Last House on the Left. Now, this is definitely not everyone's favourite movie. I can understand why. I personally do like the movie more for the villains in it. I think the villains are exceedingly, you know, horrible. And I do like the fact of how mean they are, mean spirited this movie is. I don't really like the content, if I'm honest. Uh, I just like the gang and what happens to them. So um, this one is just um, it's just a high definition Blu-ray, and I think it's it's not even a 2K. So for me, this this could see quite an uptick. But then again the actual film stock itself. I don't imagine it to be anything great. I don't think it was shot on any big budget. It's probably on 16 millimeter. So I think that it's gonna be one that you would get an uptick on it, but do you really want an uptick of something that's never gonna look good? And this looks all right. So it's, it's a funny one that. I do like the film enough to buy the 4K of it, 
but I would have to research it first, not just go into it blind. That's another thing. You've got to pre-order these things, and when you pre-order them, you don't know what's going to be like until it comes out and it gets reviewed. And it could be reviewed, Deep Red could be re reviewed as one of the worst of a 4Ks, but you've already got it. But you can't not get it because it sells out and you've got to pay ridiculous money. The next one is um, American Werewolf in London. This is an absolutely amazing set, it's probably the best. It's the best way, best set I've ever seen of it uh, to own in the UK. And also the um, the picture quality on here, it doesn't say it's, it just says a new 2019 restoration from the original camera negative supervised by John Landis. So it's got everything going for it. And actually when I put it on, it does look nice. I'm going to say it's, it's the best I've ever seen it. And it's got rid of all the sort of problems that the Blu-rays had because the Blu-rays were very poor when this was released. So that's got rid of all that. I may go for the standard version of this movie because knowing full well I've got the package in here and the standard version could be a, a bit of an uptick but I would I could wait until it came out to find that out and I wouldn't be at the mercy of the scalpers because that's what we're trying to avoid here. One movie that I've spotted here that I think would be a really good upgrade and I think this is the type of movies that Arrow should be focusing on that they've released before but they need to re-release a little bit um, and sort of get them into where they should be. It is Inferno. Now this, I like this movie. I don't love it as much as Suspiria, and I haven't seen the third part in this trilogy, The Mother of Tears. I've heard very bad things about it. This uh, this package, I mean, the picture quality in here does look good, but it's just a, um, it's just a brand new restoration um, of the film, that's all it says. This was released in 2010, so this needs Arrow to take a good look at it and maybe do a much, because they're doing a lot of stuff with Argento, and uh, also there's another film, uh, Tenebrae, which I don't own at this minute. And that's why I'm sitting on the fence with Tenebrae. I could easily go out and get it. Uh, I did have it on on, uh, on Steelbook, but I sold a Steelbook when I tried to get some money from me drums. I had to sell a few things, which uh, it it was one of the things, no one would get it again, but I'm sitting on the fence with it now because I'm thinking, I'm sure Tenebrae will get the, the 4K treatment. So it would be great for me just to pick it up and I haven't double dipped, especially if I buy the Blu-ray and it's going to be literally weeks before they announce a 4K, possibly. So to recap, I would like to think that Arrow would take a little bit more time to go through their deep dive into their back catalogue for movies that they've, they've released in good versions, but they haven't re-released in a long time. Not ones like Donnie Darko, and then three weeks later a 4K comes out and they have problems with a 4K. So that's that's the sort of thing behind this uh, this video that i would like to see a little bit more uh, attention made for the older catalogs and stuff and i do think especially with bird with crystal plumage I've, that was a bit of a double dip one that i should have took a bit more notice of and um, maybe cat and nine tails will be the same i think deep red will be better um mainly for the packaging but it's just a thing to say, I don't want to be getting them down this route of the old double dipping and you end up with like lots and lots of the same title. Because I think my goal in this in this uh, library is to have single titles, the best of that, and then that's me done with those movies. And I'm quite sure Bird with a Crystal Plumage, i.e., is going to be the last time I buy that movie. I bought it a lot of times. A lot of these movies here are bought over time, time and again. So thanks for watching, you take care, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.